Well, after Kevin's run-in with the law, we are on our way to pick up at Owen's Corning, and that comes with its own set of issues. So stick around. Welcome to the joy of trucking. Let's go. Wow, what an entrance. <laughs> are we in the right place? Said use this street. Sneaking in the back. Yeah. Other street is right over there. Yeah. yeah. Who told you how to come here? The ELD? Co pilot? Jeez. Messages. There's an entrance. Oh my god. Ay, 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 ay. It's over there. Yeah. And hey, if you're enjoying our video, please do give it a thumbs up and remember to comment and subscribe. Thank you. Okay, and what's the time? 9.35. So the appointment time here was pretty much all day. So eight luckily, till 2 8 yeah. till 2.30. Luckily, having, our, having that inspection did not make us miss the appointment because how long did that inspection take over half an hour mm. well we did our 30 minute <laughs> except we'd only been driving about half an hour so that didn't really help us <laughs> to do our 30 at that point in time all right now kevin's gonna call and we'll see what's next oh kevin's coming in the wrong way <laughs> Nose first is wrong, Kevin. You're supposed to back up to the he dock. Didn't say back it into the dock. <laughs> back with the Owens Corning stuff just like the other day back here in Fort Smith Arkansas uh, I had a nine o'clock live load appointment this morning got here and 
there's no there's no office you don't call or anything you just phone a number so I called like five times before somebody picked up because I guess being Sunday they're a little short-handed and the fella said drop your trailer at door 32 and get your paperwork and you're picking up another trailer so it turned out to be a drop and hook I got the I got the bill there was no seal just like the other day when we picked up at Corning and Owen Corning. Owen Corning and there's a packing slip in a little envelope pulled out from the dock did my inspection closed the doors put one of our seals on it got back in the cab and saw the little envelope with the packing slip that has to go inside the trailer so I had to go back there and uh, put uh, break the seal that I put on but it was a Crete seal I got lots of them break that seal throw the packing slip in close the doors seal it up again and now I have a new seal number that's on the trailer but now we're ready to go tandems are locked trailers inspected everything's good trip is planned and away we go and if you remember the other day we went just a mile from here to Owens Corning and picked up these big empty totes and we saw them in the parking lot all full of fiberglass and what they did at that place was take that fiberglass and coat it with resin and then roll it up in a big roll and it goes to a factory where they make roofing shingles. What we got here today in this trailer is the big rolls of fiberglass and we're taking it to a roofing shingle factory in Texas. So it's another part of the same story. Now did you, in terms of the seal, had you already submitted a seal number I already you had to do something to change that? Yeah, I already submitted a seal number. So what do you have to do? Another uh, loaded message with the new seal number that I put on now. So that's the procedure for that? That's how you would do it. That's how you would do it. Okay, anything else interesting yet? If there was a seal number printed on the bill, you'd have to get a new bill printed too if you changed the seal before leaving the shipper. Oh. But uh, they never printed one on, so they're not, they're not too concerned about the seal or security or whatever. It'd be tough to steal one of those big rolls. Do you know how many rolls you actually have in there? I have nine rolls and it weighs, Huge. it weighs 19,000 pounds, so it's almost 2,000 pounds a roll. Yeah. But still, at Crete, you always put your lock on. If you enjoyed this video, remember, please do give us a thumbs up. All right, put your comments and questions below. Have you seen this product? Have you had your roof redone? What's going on out there with all this fiberglass? And oh, hey, funny little thing, Kevin, mm -hmm. you were trying to sweep out your trailer. <laughs> Tried to sweep this empty, the empty trailer out this morning and my broom broke. Yep, uh, handle rusted right through. And time just... for a new broom. Maybe Santa will bring you a new broom. Maybe I'll find one at the terminal. Ooh, that, that, idea. that happens. Okay. All right. Hey, comments and questions below. And please do subscribe to our channel if you haven't done so yet. Hit that notification bell. And with that, we hope you have a great day. With love from Kevin and Tanya. Bye. Bye-bye.